the time now is 12 19 in the morning on May 27th I just blah, 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 I just got off work and I am heading home now uh, tomorrow is gonna be a busy day ridiculously busy so I need to rest up tonight Ooh, bye -bye. Um, can't wait to get home to see Sam and the boys. <sighs> I looked and I saw that I only have four. Well, when you see this, it'll be three more days of vlogging left because I vlogged on April 30th to upload for May 1st. So May 30th vlog will be uploaded May 31st and I'll have completed the challenge. Woo! Mm -hmm. ah, get out of the way. Eh. 1.17 in the morning and since Sam is wide awake, we are on the search for sustenance. Trying to eat lighter only because I don't want to have a hard time falling asleep. And what did I tell you about Sam buckling up? That's the seatbelt thing beeping again. Yadala. We're here at Denny's, <laughs> the one that's next to the freeway. Um, Sam went in to go get the order. I told him that I wasn't really, you know, starving because I got to eat a little bit at work around 8 o'clock. But I am a little hungry, and I know that when I'm hungry, I have a hard time eating. But still, that's why I, I didn't want to have, I didn't want a huge meal because, I don't know, I don't like sleeping after a huge meal. We have the boys with us. Mm, you can't really see them. Hercules' appointment went really, really well today. Um, he's up to 13.6 pounds, I think that's what it said. Before all his Addison's disease, you know, thing happened, he was he had he was at seven pounds. He was he was scrawny, but he, I mean, he always ate a lot and everything. He just was able to burn off everything so quickly. But with his percortin, his prednisone, uh, he's gained weight. Um, hopefully he won't gain much more weight though. Look at these two right here. Look at you. Look at you. Nope. 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 <laughs> Dan! I am really tired. It is 2.25 in the morning. I just got done editing the video for day 27 <clears throat> and now I'm gonna start on the thumbnail <sighs> I feel like the thumbnail is a pain in the butt oh man guys good grief I'm so tired <sighs> I have to get gas before I leave for work and I think I need to get Hercules' medicine. I think I just want to lay here for like five more minutes before I get up. Uh. Sam was asking me last night when we were coming back from Denny's, he asked me if I was going to do a finale for my vlogs and I said I don't think so. Um, but I did say that I am going to share my thoughts. So on my last upload for May, my, my May challenge, I'm going to go ahead and share just some final thoughts, some stuff that I figured out about the whole vlogging and being busy and all that stuff. So I don't know. You guys might think it's boring. <laughs> Yesterday at work, one of the, <laughs> not the employees in my department really irritated me. Um, he was going on and on about how it was hard to find a place to live. He's trying to, he's been looking and no luck and you know. And 
So I offered my suggestion. My suggestion was don't pass up the places that don't have a photo because he was looking on Craigslist and stuff like that. And I told him that we got lucky with the place that we live because there wasn't a photo listed. So a lot of people were just kind of passing by on their search. Um, we were we were kind of desperate when we were looking for a place to live because we had less than a month to move out. The town that we live in is ridiculously expensive to live in. Um, a lot of people choose to live, you know, an hour away if even if they in even if they work in this town um, because it's just that expensive and I don't know why well I have a general idea but so I told him don't pass up the listings that have a photo because that's how we got lucky we have a place that you know has a backyard two two parking spots privately owned um, our landlords are really really nice it's legit and he asked where you know where I live and I told him where we live and the area that I live in apparently doesn't have the best you know um, reputation and but I've lived here we've lived here for ooh, almost three years this June will be three years and we just had to break in yes I know but other than that, nothing else has happened. Um, and I feel like my neighbors are really nice. Or our neighbors are really nice. Um, the neighbor on both sides, whenever we see them, we say hi to each other. Um, the neighbor that shares the same, that shares the duplex with us, he's, or they're really nice. And we kind of look out for each other. And even after seeing all that, he was like, I might just end up living le next to a meth lab. And I was like, so I didn't say anything. And then he started going on and on about, I'm going to have to worry about what colors that I wear because of all the gangs. And then I was just so tired of, I'm like, dude, I'm trying to help you. I was like, but um, that's not what I said. I said something a lot meaner. Uh, but I asked him, I was like, have you ever lived there? He goes, no. And I said, I don't understand why people who've never lived there say stuff like that. It's always the people that say stuff like that that have never lived there. And then he just kind of looked at me. And we were in a room full of people, mind you. Um, so everybody just kind of got quiet. And I was, I don't know, I just, it just... Even though, you know, yes, our apartment got broken into, our car got broken into, that was one instance out of three years. And... When we lived on the other side of town, which is the nicer side of town, a lot worse happened. Sam's dad's car got totally messed up because drunk driver, we parked along the street, myself and about like four other cars, we parked along the street because that's how we had to park. Uh, and in the middle of the night, around four in the morning, a drunk driver sideswiped all of the vehicles including Sam's dad's car um, and they made a rent for it they never caught the person um, but I'm like this sort of stuff happens on you know in any in any area of the town it could be the nice side of town it could be the not so nice side of town and at least you know here you know your neighbors you know you know, you know when the ice cream truck is coming through. You know that, I don't know. But anyway, that just irritated me. He had no idea about the area and he was already saying negative stuff about it. Sam is watching my video and he's at the part where I'm talking about how I confused Don Johnson with somebody else. The person that I confused him with and I said they look nothing alike is Don King. Don't ask me how I confuse them. I think it's because they're Dons. Before I head to work, I need to take care of some stuff. I need to pick up Hercules' medication. I need to get gas. I need to stop off at the bank. These people that um, take care of Hercules' medication, super, super nice. 
um, because Hercules is so small it has his medication has to be compounded kind of like to get more bang for his dose rather than taking a huge pill they have to compound it and so of course you have to pay extra for it but the people who own the company are ridiculously nice and it's so funny because whenever we call him call in Hercules's um, order they say Hercules so I got the goods this cost us $30 normally we get a two-month supply but I think they they misunderstood our order at least we have some to get him through the next month I don't really mind I can always come back they live the it's just right across the street we're at the bank now It's bright out. My glasses have a scratch. Sometimes when you gotta pee, you gotta pee. But when you're this far away from a bathroom, I don't think that's really necessary what he's doing over there. And it, you know, go into the bushes, go into the trees. Don't just right, you know, right in the right at the exit. And there's Navajo PD over there. That guy's over there peeing, and they're over here. All right, dudes, I'm at work now. Um, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Ooh, I get VIP parking today. I enjoyed my drive with you guys. I enjoyed all the tunes, and I hope you guys did too. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys are having an excellent day. I hope that you have fun weekend plans because by the time you see this vlog, it'll be Saturday. <sighs> Enjoy your weekend while you can in case you get stuck doing overtime like me.